Okay, everyone, so I'm just going to give you a little bit quick run through of your wall defenses and why it's so valuable to you as a player. All right, so I see people who are a billion, two billion, what have you, and they have low wall durability. That's because they rush their account just to get T4s and build loads of troops. But it's valuable to have your wall durability. So when you get hit, it costs them a lot more troops. It makes it harder for them to kill your troops. It makes it harder for them to get through your wall to even see your troops. Right? So the thing you've got to focus on is when you go to give somebody a punch while attacking them, yeah, you've also got to be able to take one back. Right? It's got to work both ways. Yeah? So if you're prepared to take a hit, you're definitely ready to give a hit. Okay? So it's just so beneficial for yourself and for your troops. Okay, I know my wall looks a bit iffy now, but that's just because I've put these ones on because they give me um, training boost because I wanted to sort that one out. Okay, so now to set up your wall, you'll go through your enforcers and you'll find which ones are good for your wall. So you click on the face like this, right? He's not showing anything what would help me with my walls, so my wall defense, my wall HP, or my trap attack and defense. So we'll, we'll keep going. Okay, awesome. So Triss Miller gives me trap HP, right? So that means when they come to hit your wall, the traps on your walls will be 75% more HP on them, which means they live longer. So you lose lef less, and it can withstand more damage and give them more damage in a sense, right? Because they can keep fighting longer. Okay, this one here, Troy, he gives you 75% trap defense. Awesome. That one's perfect to put on. Once again, Wang Jin. I think his name's Deathlock. Uh, gives you trap attack. Awesome. So you can go through and you can find out this is wall defense. Nice. But the thing is, right, you find all them. Yeah, you're like, okay, okay, cool. I'll leave it there. No, but have a look down. Still see what other ones do. Because you never know. You might find one that's actually better than the one you've already put on. Yeah? So it's very important to go through and see what everything is before you just start putting stuff on. Right? So if we have a look at him. It gives you 60%. Uh, that's only 30% trap attack, yeah? So we'll take Wang off. And then, which was it, him? Yeah, so this one's 75%. So you just go through and find which one's best for you. You know, that's 6% wall defense. I'd probably take that one off and I'd put that back on. Do you know, because that makes your wall even stronger. Especially the fact if you're building a big wall to take a hit, you might as well have more defense on it. Okay, especially like this one here. This one gives your mortar cars more attack and defense, right? But I wouldn't really put that on your wall. And then always, always, always add your weapons, guys. It's so valuable. And unlock the last, the last one. Why not? It benefits you. Uh, so you go through, you click the eye, you see which one's going to benefit you, and then you just choose whichever one you want on. You know. It, you can just whack your favorite ones on if you really wanted to, you know. But you can read into it, and I recommend looking into it more, seeing what it actually gives you. You know, getting all your buildings up to 25, I really, really recommend it. Do you know, for more defense, is it Diamond Labs will do this? I don't think it is. No, that's a crew attack. Is it hospitals? The hospitals give you crew HP. Which one is it? One of them give you, might be training center, defense. Yeah, so if you do loads of training centers, you get extra defense. So when you get it to level 25, you get plus 10% defense. Right, so depending on what buildings you have, depends on how much more it protects you. Yeah, so when you're just trying to defend, more training centers could be better for you in that sense. Same with your specialties, there's, there's defense options you can choose. Right, so at the bottom, you got crew defense um, two, which can give you up, which gives you an extra 87% crew defense just for that one there, and then you got trap attacks. What does that give you up to? 53% trap attack, mortar cars attack, trap attack. You know, there's all these different things here. What can just benefit you so much just by learning simple things? Um, for myself personally, I don't like to get caught slipping a little bit slacking so on my investment set just in case if I ever forget do you know to change to my um, attack specialties or attack gear I know at the end of the day my stats are still going to be a little bit better because I've added some do you know 
defense duels and attack duels to benefit me just to hurt them even more you know because if, you, if you're going to be you know in a sense caught with your pants down you might as well have the best chances you know possible so to upgrade you all to the to the highest durability you want to do defenses okay so it's wall engineering wall engineering wall engineering they're the ones we're, we're going to help you get your durability up all right so these are good right these traps do help you okay but the main focus in my eyes is just to get all these up the wall defense wall repair dual durability do you know and the hp this they're so valuable just to get them ones up all right i wouldn't worry about getting them all to 10 you know i'd say do that after you've got all of the things that are possibly going to benefit you otherwise up yeah so make sure you get your defense done defense is so valuable okay look into your investments look deeper into them see what they can actually benefit you wise because everything is important every single thing on this game has a purpose and it benefits you in some sort of way yeah it's just everything benefits you so just have a look into it look into your enforcers look into your equipment look into your jewels just look into everything dig deep into your account because this game has so many ins and outs what you couldn't even believe there's so many little niche information surrounding this game and nobody will tell you them nobody you've got to go looking for them little easter eggs